challenge this week facing an offense that's run the ball really, really well the last two games? Um, obviously, you know, as we've said, you know, week in and week out, it, we got to find a way to stop the run. We've had uh, issues doing it, and you got a team and a player that are running the ball at a very, very high level right now. Um, they're, they're playing extremely well across the board on offense. The receivers are playing well, quarterbacks playing lights out, and then you add a, a power run game to it. And, you know, very, very explosive offense. That first half, how encouraged were you last week? I mean, you guys got some sacks and pressure. Yeah, it's kind of what we, uh, you know, expected to see, you know, in these last, you know, four games, and we weren't getting. So we were excited to, to see it, you know, uh, thought we played a cleaner first half. Obviously, uh, the missed tackles didn't show up. The missed assignments didn't didn't show up as much. wasn't perfect, but it was more of what we're accustomed to. And didn't feel like we came out in the second half and execute. Uh, we missed some tackles on the first uh, long run that happened in the second half. We were misaligned. Uh, simple stuff too, and we got misaligned and still should have made the tackle. Missed the tackle. Kind of let the running back start get going in the in the second half and you know it really cost us. We had some some opportunities there and just didn't make the most of I heard Fickle uh, in this press conference say that he noticed you guys at the beginning were fired up and maybe his guys weren't ready. I mean what was the difference? Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I thought pre-game you know both teams seemed pretty excited to, to go out there and play and you know I, I, I thought we, we came out in the first half and you know just tried to execute the game plan and uh, we gave them some different looks and things that they probably hadn't seen from us before and probably threw them off, uh, off balance a little bit. Uh, but, you know, once we came out from halftime, I thought those guys were motivated and they made, you know, more plays than what we did. But I, would, I wouldn't come out and say that I didn't think they were ready to play. I thought, you know, uh, we, we just did a pretty good job in the first half of, of stopping what they do. Uh, the play uh, towards the end that really extended their drive with COVID. It's one of those right on the boards. Is it tough, you know, when you're, you're saying, hey, be aggressive, get the guy, and then all of a sudden, hold it, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a tough job. It's a tough job for the officials because you want to protect uh, the quarterbacks, but not only quarterbacks. You want to protect, you know, all the players involved. And um, it's a bang-bang play. I don't think uh, Khalid had any malintent. If you watch the play, he didn't go helmet to helmet. He was just trying to secure the tackle. And, you know, you, you don't want to be, you know, the defensive player that assumes he's going to slide and he doesn't and gets the first down because now the coaches and your teammates are going to say you took a play off. Um, but, you know, the officiating it works for both sides. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure Cincinnati feels like they, they missed some calls on them too. You, like, you, you always tell the guys to just be aggressive, stay aggressive, just, just be smart. And, you know, I don't think that was a, a bad play or a malicious play on his part. It just didn't go our way. Reeves had another double-digit tackle game. You know, it seems like he's settling in a little bit better at linebacker. What do you see? Uh, I definitely agree with that. Um, you know, it's one of those things that's kind of, you know, par for the course of what this year has kind of entailed so far. Um, when you take a kid that's never played linebacker and move him at that position, uh, a kid that's as talented and, you know, as uh, self-driven as uh, Greg Reeves, you know, is you expect him to get better week in and week out and he's starting to get more accustomed to playing linebacker and you can see it even on the practice field where he's getting himself in better position to make plays versus the pass and the run.